For today's video, I'm going to be doing a walkthrough of the new Luck of the Storm quest line. But before we get into those new quests and new rewards, I did want to quickly show what's available in the event store for those who haven't seen it. There's one new hero in the event section, and that new hero is the Shamrock Reclaimer Outlander. Now technically he is a reskin of Fragment Flurry Jess, who I've already uploaded gameplay of. If you want to see some Reclaimer Outlander gameplay, be sure to check out the link that's in the description. Because again, I've already gotten gameplay of this type of Outlander, and I don't think I'm going to be getting gameplay with this new one. There's also a few items available in the weekly section. There's a new Legendary Rifleman Defender. There's an epic version of Base Kyle, an epic Burst Sniper, an epic Survivor. They also got some evolution materials like always. There's also a Legendary Reaper Scythe as well as a Legendary Cozy Campfire. And both of those are going to cost 700 daily coins. And yeah, that sums up all of the new stuff that they're offering in the event store this week. Anyways, the next thing I want to go over was the new Luck of the Storm quest. For those who don't know, there's two pages of new quest. There's a total of three quests on the seventh page and two quests on the eighth page. So there's only going to be a total of five new quests. And the first new quest is called Fool's Gold. And the reward for this one is 500 firecracker tickets. And I completed this mission on the Rescue the Survivors mission in the Grasslands. And it only took me one mission to complete it. And all you have to do for this one is explore the map until you see these yellow exclamation marks up here. And some of the exclamation marks could be firecrackers, but others will be these pots full of gold that looks like it has a rainbow coming out of it. And all you have to do is walk up to it and search it. And again, you're going to have to search a total of seven of them. But you do want to be careful because when you search the pot of gold, it will do some damage to you. So make sure you have enough health before you open them. That way it doesn't kill you. But yeah, that's how I completed the first quest. The second quest is called Leaves of Four. And for this one, you're going to have to kill Husk and collect 50 Lucky Clovers. And the reward for this one is 100 V-Bucks. And the mission I used to complete this one was a Destroy the Encampments mission that was located in the forest. And I had to do a total of three missions in order to complete this quest. The first two missions I used were Destroy the Encampments in the forest. And the third mission I used was a Destroy the Encampments in an Industrial Park. The first mission I got 15 Lucky Clovers. The second mission I got 20 Lucky Clovers. And in the third mission I got 15. It also seemed like Lucky Clovers would drop during the first wave of an encampment. So if you don't have enough time to complete another encampment towards the end of the mission, then just start the encampment, try to get a Lucky Clover to drop, and then run away so the encampment resets, and then come back and do the same thing over again, and you may be able to farm Lucky Clovers faster that way. But yeah, that's the method I used for this quest. I just did destroy the encampment missions. The third quest is called Nobody Takes Me Flakes, and for this one you're going to have to deploy five Leprechaun Traps. And the reward for this is 500 firecracker tickets. And the mission I used to complete this quest was a destroy the encampments that was in the suburbs. And you may be able to complete this quest within just one mission. It took me a total of two missions to complete it because during the first one I only found four. And then the second mission I found one. But the only tip I have for this quest is that you're going to want to look towards the outer edges of the map. I found all five of the leprechaun traps near the outer edges. And as you can see here, this is what the Leprechaun Trap looks like. Now the fourth quest is called My Name Is. And for this one, you're going to have to find five green garden gnomes. And the reward for this is 100 V-Bucks. And I was able to complete this quest within just one mission. And the mission I chose to do it on was a Destroy the Encampments mission in an industrial park. And it seemed like their locations were kind of random. The main thing you want to do is just explore the map till you see yellow exclamation marks appear and then look for those yellow exclamation marks. Again, some of them may be fireworks, but some of them will also be these green garden gnomes that you see here. And again, all you have to do is collect a total of five of them. And that's the method I use for the fourth quest. Now, before we get into the fifth quest, one tip I did want to point out is that you're going to want to open up your spring llamas before you complete the fifth quest. Just to see if you get any of the heroes, that way you won't be selecting a duplicate hero. I had enough to open up a couple of spring llamas, and I'm going to go ahead and show what I got from those llamas. But yeah, you could potentially get one of the new St. Patrick's heroes from the spring llamas. And if you do end up getting one of them, then you're not going to want to select that hero after you complete the fifth quest. So if you have enough firecracker tickets for a spring llama, I definitely recommend that you open them up before you complete the fifth quest. And as for the fifth quest, this one's called You Don't Have to Go Home. And all you have to do for this one is go to a city area and visit one pub. 
And the reward you get for this is a choice between either the Luck Demolisher Wildcat, the Highland Warrior Wildcat, or Battlehound Jonesy. And you also get an epic Leprechaun Survivor. So the mission I used to complete this one was a destroy the encampments in the city zone. And I'll go ahead and show you what the pub looks like. Uh, this is what the pub looks like on the inside. And all you have to do is just walk inside of it. And once I walked inside it updated the quest. And the pub was located in the basement of this brick building you see right here. And I did not see this pub appear as an exclamation mark on the mini map. So I'm not sure if it does or not. But uh, you just want to look out for this pub. And again, it's going to be located in city zones. And that pretty much sums up all of the new items in the event store, as well as the new Luck of the Storm quest. If you have any tips in regards to these quests that I didn't mention, be sure to let us know in the comments below. I hope y'all found the video useful, and thanks for watching.